Hey guys, we're in 2 Samuel 16. Um, first, I want to talk about addiction. And I stopped taking Clonopin last Thursday, and it's a benzodiazepine, which is just another suppressant. And it's been hard. I will admit that. Um, but now that I'm off it, like I can finally think again. And I've been thinking about how this all started, like what happened. And it was back in like 06. And I started getting these really bad panic attacks and anxiety attacks and like I couldn't sleep and stuff. So I went to the ER because I, you know, couldn't function anymore. Like I couldn't go to work and or anything. And so the ER doctor prescribed me lorazepam, which is a benzodiazepine and it is uh, for anxiety and and it's also an anti-seizure medication and so it helped and then I started seeing a doctor who put me on antidepressants and so ever since then like I just had a fear of I guess of the unknown I I don't you know, I don't, I don't know, you know, now that I look back, I'm like, what, why didn't I, why didn't I seek the Lord or, you know, like, and so ever since then, I just died a little bit more each day and I became a zombie and then like it just like totally clouds your thinking and your feeling and your heart and your soul and 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 then like uh, you know I just I guess I wanted freedom from it but I didn't know where to turn and so it just got worse. And then I got addicted to pills. And I didn't start living again or feeling or thinking again and start until I started going to Palestine church. And, and now that I am getting clean, you know, I've just been asking the Lord to push all these drugs out of me where like at one point I, I didn't want to be sober. I just, you know, I just wanted to be, you know, I just wanted my brain to stop thinking, 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 you know, and now I don't feel that way anymore. Like now I just want to be sober and like I just ask the Lord to push all these drugs out of me and help me with withdrawals and he's delivered me. And now like I don't even want to smoke weed anymore. I, don't, I only smoke it like every few days or something and all I want to be now is sober because I just want the Lord to fill me up instead with his love and joy and happiness and peace and mercy and every other good thing in the world. And I mean, you know, our country is spoiled. And I know it's because we trust in God and we're one nation under God and he takes care of us. And so even though we don't have to really deal with like starvation and death threats. I mean, I know it's a part of our, you know, I, I know it exists. 
um, we have to deal with other kinds of suffering, like mental suffering. And you have to want to get better. You have to want to be done. And I wanted to be done. I wanted to be off Suboxone. And so I just started telling Jesus like how much I loved him, which is true. And I just started asking him to deliver me and asking him to push the drugs out of me. And he has answered my prayers. And now instead of thinking like a course like this week's been hard and I've been getting really bad anxiety and like pits in my stomach and but now instead of going to pills and stuff that suppresses you know my soul now I just go to the Lord every single day sometimes every time I get a knot in my stomach I just have to start reading the word for help because I don't want to go back to that place where I was, you know, so afraid of, I don't even know what anxiety, I just had anxiety and, and so now he all day, he just delivers me and protects me and heals me and helps my soul and helps my heart. Like, you know, I started getting off everything in June, uh, starting with, I can't remember, like, uh, these few, last few, like, I'm having a hard time focusing and, and stuff like that, but with everything I've gotten off, like Cymbalta and Zoloft, which I took to help me get off Cymbalta and then Suboxone and then Adderall and then something else and now um, Clonopin and I should be like ugh, reeling on the brink of the abyss feeling like depressed because like all these things are coming out of me but I'm so hopeful and I'm so I have so much joy and peace and it's all from the Lord you know I don't have to rely on medications anymore like I don't crave them anymore I don't want to be messed up or high I want to be sober because I want more of the Lord and that's what happens like when you start seeking Jesus all of your thoughts all of your heart all of your soul just longs for him constantly all day long and it's the best feeling in the world because I was seeking something to fill the void in me and now that I seek the Lord, I am completely filled. And so I just, um, I just want you guys to know that if you really want help and if you really want out and if you really want freedom, just start telling Jesus how much you love him and just ask for his help and he'll deliver you like he has for me. So let's pray, actually. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for all the healing and all the help and tender love and care that you have given me, Lord. And please, if anyone is watching who needs out of medication, Lord, Please deliver them. If they seek you, Lord, you will deliver them. So, Father, I pray for more of your healing for, for me, for everyone who wants it, Lord. 
and I pray that you will bless them with your hope and your love and your peace and your joy and everything, Lord. And when I when I didn't have peace, I accidentally turned to drugs. But now that I have your peace, you're the only thing I want. You're the only thing I desire. So, Lord, I pray that you help us and bless us, Lord. And keep us and care for us. In your holy, precious name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay, I love you guys and, and I'll read again. God bless.